Now, you're looking live now at the uh, courthouse where jurors heard about eight hours of evidence today in this case. Bland died in her Waller County jail cell just three days after her arrest on July 13th. Sion Rhodes is there live tonight. Sion? Well, the grand jury's decision comes after meeting three times and on the same day that the Bland family held a news conference in Chicago, blasting the entire process, saying they had zero confidence in what was going on in Waller County these last several meetings. Now, we know that a guard at the Waller County Jail found Sandra Bland dead inside her cell on July 13th, three days after she was arrested by state trooper Brian Encinia. Now, his dash cam, dash cam recorded the arrest, and the Harris County Medical Examiner found that Bland committed committed suicide by hanging, but Bland's family has always insisted that she did not kill herself. However, officials in Waller County have denied that. And tonight, the special prosecutor announcing the grand jury's decision, there will be no charges against anyone in connection with her death. After presenting all the evidence as it relates to the death of Sandra Bland, uh, the grand jury did not return an indictment. Uh, the grand jury also um, considered things that occurred at the jail and did not return an indictment. Now, just a short time ago, I spoke to Bland's family attorney, Kenan Lambert, getting his reaction to the decision tonight. He told me, quote, we are not going to allow what they've done in a limited secret capacity to prevent us from doing what we need to do to get answers for the family. The family has, of course, filed a civil suit in connection to Sandra Bland's death. The special prosecutor also saying tonight that the investigation by that grand jury is not over, that they will reconvene early in January to go over connections to what happened to Sandra Bland's arrest. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.